Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring... With his guests, Margaret Whiting, the Nicholas Brothers, Buster Shaver and Olive, and Tom and Jerry. Presented by the Colgate Palmolive Feet Company, makers of Colgate Dental Cream. Palmolive Brushless Shaving Cream. Fab, the new wash day suds. And Palmolive Soap. And now, from Hollywood, the Abbott and Costello Show. Shopping, shopping, everybody shopping, eleven more days to Christmas. Hopping, hopping, everybody's hopping, eleven more days to Christmas. All our friends and relations are down on the list. Someone we know is not to be missed. Stopping, stopping. There's no time for stopping. Eleven more days to Christmas. I've got to get a tinker toy for Sister Nellie. Just this boy, I've got to get a tie for dear old dad. A sweater for my brother and a necklace for my mother. And don't forget that tie for dear old dad. You're right. Aunt Rosie needs some stockings. But if this keeps up, I'm hocking all the valuables and junk I ever had. Now we need roller skates for Fanny and a bicycle for Annie. And don't forget the tie for dear old dad. Oh, that tie. A talking doll for baby and a briar pipe for Amy. And some perfume to make cousin Katie glad. We need a thought of something funny. Where what the heck do we get money? We get it all from dear old dad. From dear Need money for Christmas. Sure. You know, since I want to buy you a Christmas present, Lou, I. Well, I was only going to put a nickel in. You got any money? Sure, I got money. You have got money? Well, I got. Let me see. I got in the neighborhood of twenty-eight dollars. Then you have twenty-eight dollars in the neighborhood. In, in the vicinity, I got about three dollars. <laughs> uh, then you have three dollars, roughly speaking. What when you, you mean? smooth it out, I got a buck. <laughs> you have got a buck. I got one buck. Well, give me the buck. There it is, right over there. Well, that's, that's the way to keep it, boys. Boys. Right Now, look, I'll tell you what we do. We need, we need more money than a dollar. A dollar won't get us any place. We've got, we need more money. Wait a minute, I've got an idea, Lou. And you know, I always bring in the chips. I know you bring in the chips. I'll tell you what you do. You walk across the street, get hit by an automobile, we run the guy into court, charge him damages, and he'll want to settle. No one wants to go to court on Christmas, do they? Just a minute. You want me to run in front of the street and buy, buy a car and get hit with a car? What do you And get? then the guy's going to sue us? No, no, we sue them. Oh, then we sue the guy? Sure. And then we don't want... By, and if he goes on a car, he, he don't want to go Christmas time? That's right. Why should I get hit with but a no, car? You get hit with a car! Uh, uh, think of yourself, don't you? I mean, after all, right, I'm, right, I can hit with a right, car. Right, go to the right. hospital. What's going to happen to me? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a better idea. You get a punch in the nose. Boy, you're picking up some pit by here. I know we gotta get some money, but why you gotta get punched right. in the nose again? What we do? The first couple of long that comes along here, you say that the woman has a very funny hat on. Make fun of it. The husband will punch you in the nose. Oh, look now, wait a minute. We'll take him to court. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Make fun of the hat. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Abbott, look at this. <laughs> hey, mister, I see some...
some crummy hats on ladies, but this is the crummiest hat I ever saw on anybody. What did you say? I said that's a crummy hat. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I told you it was a lousy hat. <laughs> I don't think that worked, did it? Why didn't you get a punch in the nose? I ought well, to do it myself. We've got to get you a punch in the nose now. We've got to get... Camera number court. three. Camera number up. three. Quiet. Camera number three. Great. All right. <laughs> The next couple come out, uh, you tell the woman that you saw her husband kiss another woman. I That'll saw, do it. I saw the man she's with kiss yeah, another woman. That'll get you a punch in the nose. I gotta get Soul a punch pigeon. in the nose. Oh, we'll sue him for plenty. Hey, shorty! My mother's gonna like this part. <laughs> hey, shorty! <laughs> hey, lady, I saw that man kiss another woman. <gasps> that was his wife! Oh, please don't tell her about us! Please don't! Whatever you do! <laughs> Wrestling at the Legion Stadium. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've got it. I don't think your ideas are no, working wait, at all. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think your ideas are this, working at all. Oh, this is a better one. I just soon panhandled no, for a couple of bucks. Wait a minute. The next guy comes along, just say that he stole something. Accuse him of stealing. He's bound to punch you in the nose. There you are. Just a minute, buddy. Boy, you What's the idea you steal in that box? I'm sorry, mister. I didn't know it was yours. Please, mister, don't call the cops. Please, but don't, don't put me in jail for Christmas. I didn't mean to steal that, mister. I got a wife and about four kids home. <laughs> Has that been got any where you got the box. He no. gave it to me. He yeah, let no, no, no. <laughs> I'll give you a Christmas okay. present. You're gonna get it, brother. <laughs> Take it easy, Abbott. Take it. Here's Take it, man. Abbott. Follow me over here, kid, because yeah, the man's the, the man from here. I know there's more to come. Come on, yeah, I know. Baby. I know. Lou. Don't you know what you're doing, buddy? No, I hit my head. Please. Don't you know what you're doing? No, Lou. You can't do nothing, buddy. You see, I can't. I am. <laughs> Boy. Come on. Now I'm gonna give you help, buddy. I'm... Why, you big goat? I don't know what we are going.
some news for you. We finally got a job. For breaking those windows now, we've got to pay for it. We've got a job, we've got to pay it off. And I'm tired out. Well, Abbott, I didn't break the windows. You're no, the guy no, that broke no, the windows, no, not no, me. No, now, what do we got to do? I'm just tired What kind of job you got? Listen, stop worrying about it. What kind of job we got? We're working down at the parking store. What, doing what? What do you care what we're doing? I need a, a, a scalp treatment, Lou. I want to get a fix up. Come on. What, are you going to have an executive job down there? Why not? Oh, that's uh, an executive job, huh? Hey, what's wrong with that? You want a scalp treatment? I want a scalp treatment. Who's going to give it to you? You. Me? Going to give you a scalp Come treatment? Come on, Lou, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding, brother? Oh, Take your coat off. You want a scalp treatment? Yes. Abby, you know I don't know anything about giving anybody a treatment. Wait a minute, Lou. There's a man on the radio right now. He'll tell you all about it. And you listen to what he says and do it as he tells you. Hey, Abby, what kind of job are we going to have down there? Worry about what kind of a job? Get me a towel. I hope we get a good job. Men, are you losing your hair? Oh, is this the guy? Yes, you him? are. Listen daily for our treatment. Now listen to him and do everything he tells you to do. Okay. First, you, place you, a towel around the neck. A nice you large hand? towel and fasten it securely. Then, massage the scalp nice and gently. This stimulates the, the scalp, so massage gently. 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 You, you hear the man? Gently. Gently. That's the boy. Gently. Soothing. Soothe. Oh, that's gently. So soothing. Gently. That's so gently. nice. What are you doing? What are you doing? Massage listen. gently. Listen, listen to the man. Gently. There you are. Nice. Over oh, here. Over oh, here. The scalp. Now go and get your favorite scalp tonic. Now I've got to get the, I get the scalp tonic. Don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, this scalp treatment is coming to you through the courtesy of the Anaconda Noodle Company. Our recipe for today is noodle stuffing for your Christmas turkey. Our quick boiling noodle is tender in three minutes. Now, boil the noodles. I'll wait. This is it, Abbott. Anything like this happen to him? <laughs> now, is the noodle ready? <laughs> now add two eggs. I do not wish to miss. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's the sky, Abbott. I hope you're right. <laughs>
Hey, feller, where's the fire? Look out! Uh-oh. Boy, right in the mud. Well, here we go again. Like they say, mother's work is never done. Right, Mom? Oh, this? Well, you know how boys are. And this isn't work, really. I just toss it into my washing machine with fab. There's a smart girl. She's one of thousands who's discovered that fab washes whiter without bleaching. Yes, whiter than any other product known with bleach in the wash water. Look at that. In just a few minutes, Fab washed the shirt really white. And without bleaching, it's a livelier white. Fab washes clothes cleaner, too, than any soap on earth. Because Fab gets out dirt and leaves no dulling soap scum. You get brighter looking, sweeter smelling washes. And Fab is mild to hand. Why don't you try Colgate's new Fab for whiter washes without bleaching? Yes, next. Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite Capitol recording star, Margaret Whiting. If I am fancy free and love to wander, it's just the gypsy in my soul. Something calling me from way out yonder It's just the gypsy in my soul I've got to give vent to my emotions I'm only content having my way There is no other life of which I'm fonder just the gypsy in my soul. I have a certain way that makes other people say that I lack responsibility. I may refuse to labor as hard as my good neighbor, but that's the way I like to be. Just the gypsy in my soul. There is no other life of which I find It's just the gypsy in my soul. No care, no spring, no got no spring. My heart, my heart is gonna have wings. That's why I'm fancy free. Come on, come on. You want me to do all the work? Get it in here. Get it in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Louie. Come on, Louie. That's the boy. Get it out. Come on. Now, Louie, you don't want me to do all the work, do you? Look, I've got all these little packages in. Now, come on, Louie. Get over, little father. Do it now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not that much more. A little more. A little more. Whoop. That's enough. There we are. Here, here, here. What's going on here? What's, What's on going on here? How many times have I told you that Christmas trees and presents are a waste of money? Well, it's just, just, just a minute. What do you think you are, Scrooge? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give this guy the Dickens. Go ahead. I want to... <laughs> Stuff out of here. This is my house. You want to sign I mean, it? after all, you want to sign for this, Mr. Abbott? I brought the stuff up here. We're not going to take it. Hey, Abbott. What? Between you and I, don't you think this guy pots his hair too wide apart? <laughs> <laughs> Captain 
this stuff out of all here right, right now. Right. I pay for this stuff, and I can't afford it. Get it out of here. How do you keep that head from slipping off the pillow? All right. <laughs> Please, please, get it out of here. I'll take it out. Go on, get it out of here. Right. What's the matter? You see what you're causing now? Trouble, that's the trouble with oh, you. trouble, trouble, I trouble. I told you I will not celebrate Christmas. Oh, you never want to celebrate anything. Why, every other house in the block has Christmas lights in the window. Sure, I got to put up lights. I can go outside and look at the wet lights for nothing. What do oh. I have to put up lights for? <laughs> I won't spend a nickel for Christmas. This is my money. I earn the money, and I'll spend it the way I like. Spend it? You just show me one gift you ever gave me. Everything in this house I gave you, didn't I? Didn't sure. I give you everything in the house? Oh, sure. I give you your food, I give you your clothes, the bed you sleep in is mine. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not quarrel. Oh, no, no. Mommy, wait a minute. Let's not quarrel. Here, boy. Boy. Huh? Bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, darling, darling. you're making me now, so Dorothy, happy. Now, Dorothy, don't... Now we'll have a real Christmas. I, shall that's we? right. I'm sorry. I, I don't want you to have any trouble. No more trouble. Oh, no more arguments. Now let's have open house. That's I wonderful. Oh, we'll you. bring your brother's kids from the dancing oh, school. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, Say, the these are nice presents, aren't I they? Beautiful. Nice. You know who are these things? Who are these here? things for, darling? Well, let's see. Uh, there's some things for my three brothers. Your brothers? And uh, let's see. There's uh, something for my father. Yeah. And then uh, there's a present for so for my mother. Your mother? I knew your mother. Yes, your mother. That's all you do. <laughs> I didn't marry your mother. I married you. I don't want to have anything in this house that even reminds me of your mother. There you go. What again, do Mr. they get for me? A broken down back scratcher. What can I do with a back scratcher? You may use it as a salad conference. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I just don't understand. I gotta have the money in the bank for these holiday. things. Look at I have no money. My feet are coming through my shoes. Oh, and my God. elbows are coming through my sleeves. <laughs> I have no Well, what does all this stuff cost? How much was oh, it stolen? Oh, well, uh, let's see, it was 59 cents for your tie and 475 for that for mother. For mother! 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 <laughs> Have a nice Christmas. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. If you wouldn't start the arguments, we wouldn't have an argument. Who started oh, you the argument? <laughs> what she wants. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you get a divorce? That's a good idea. I think I will. Sydney. Dorothy. I'm leaving you. No. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to this old house. With all its fond memories. And this dear old fireplace. <laughs> Many nights I've enjoyed the warmth of your cheerful sleigh. <laughs> I hope you're satisfied. My wife has left me. What do you think? Why don't you leave her? Hey. Why don't you go to the YWCA? You mean the YM, the YMCA. You go where you like and I'll go where I like. <laughs> we got it in two parts. <laughs> I'm not interested in what you think, but it's an idea. I'll go to the club. And believe me, 
It's rough leaving these wonderful, comfortable old surroundings. You don't know what this home means to me in my old fireplace. I built that. Well, goodbye, old fireplace. Goodbye. His wife. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I think I'll divorce you. You've caused enough trouble, especially on this show. Goodbye, old fireplace. <laughs> Maybe I am a bad boy. <laughs> Maybe I have caused enough trouble. It's the end of the year, and I thought maybe Santa Claus would be nice to me if I was nice to him all year. I didn't mean to be mean to Abbott. Ladies and gentlemen, they wrote the show that way. <laughs> Ordinarily, it would be me who was pushed into the windows, but they says, let him go in this week. <laughs> Ordinarily, it would be me who would have had the, the turkey on the head. He had it. <laughs> now that I gave him this kind of stuff to do, we're through. Goodbye, bud. Goodbye to everybody on the Colgate show, because this is our last show this year. I want to say goodbye to the cameraman and to you, the boom man. Put the mic so they can see you, please. To this guy. Take it up. That's enough. I want to say goodbye to Al Goodman and all the musicians and to all the wonderful technicians in the control room. I want to say goodbye for 1952. Most of all, the wonderful men on the stage, I want to say goodbye. Thanks a lot for helping Abbott and I to have one of the finest years we've ever had. Most of all, I want to say goodbye to the scene. <laughs> and the guy that wrote it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and I want to say goodbye to all the wonderful props that the property man gave us. Especially this fireplace that he gave us. I wish to say goodbye to this wonderful fireplace. Goodbye, old fireplace. Goodbye. <laughs> more comfortable shaves the palm olive brushless shaving cream way velvet smooth palm olive brushless wilts the toughest whiskers actually protects your skin with a soft film that floats your razor's cutting edge the palm olive brushless way was tested by over 1200 men following package directions and three out of four reported beards easier to cut less razor pull smoother more comfortable yes more comfortable shave so men try the palm olive brushless way yourself you'll see you get smoother, more comfortable, comfortable shave. The Palm Olive Brushless Way. Try the Palm Olive Brushless Shaving Cream Way tomorrow. And for that perfect gift that'll please all men, get deluxe size Palm Olive Aftershave Lotion. Smartly styled with fired on glass lettering and simulated gold cap. One dollar plus tax at toilet goods counters. That Palm Olive Aftershave Lotion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here on the Abbott and Costello Show for the Colgate Comedy Hour, we're very happy to welcome a very, very fine dance team. They're one of the finest dancers in our Hollywood area. We'd like for you to meet them now, the famous Nicholas Brothers.
now, Haynes, we give you Al Goodman and that uh, wonderful band of his playing Irving Berlin's beautiful White Christmas. Take it away, Al. Hold it! Just a minute! Now, look, Hold it! Hello. Come in. I'd like to know if I could leave this band, please. Oh, no. Do not put your hand on me like that, Goodman. I'd like to know if I could leave the... Don't hit me like that, Goodman. Don't hit me like that, Goodman! Don't argue with me. I said, Goodman, stop! Mr. Goodman, he's only a boy. Goodman! He don't mean any harm. Now, wait a minute, Al! Mr. Goodman, if you don't mind, while you're in the straitjacket, <laughs> and don't get the cards wrong, <laughs> here from Berlin. Ready?
Show. Ray Bolger. Ray Bolger. And ladies and gentlemen, show. we want to tell everybody in Chicago, we're going to be there Wednesday. That's right. For the opening of Catholic Kid, Red Skelton. Get well, baby. See you later, folks. Now. Comedy Hour has been presented by Colgate Dental Cream. Palmolive Brushless Shaving Cream. Fab, the new wash day sun. And Palmolive Soap. For the Four Pipers, Sid Fields, Dorothy Granger, The Hollywood Stunt Group, Gordon Jones, Jack Lomas, and Bobby Barber. Abbott and Costello can now be seen in their new film, Abbott and Costello Meet Captain Kidd, co-starring Charles Lawton. Be sure and tune in again next week at the same time when Ray Bolger will make his starring debut on the Colgate Comedy Hour with his special guest, Reza Stevens. Two weeks from tonight, your star will be Ben Blue. Colgate Comedy Hour has been chosen to be shown overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. This is Hal Sawyer saying good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Palmolive Feed Company, makers of quality products since 1806. <laughs>